Hello and welcome to the Greater Birmingham Chambers of Commerce Q&A series that we're conducting with all of the uh, different divisional presidents across our, our group. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Nick Hardy, who's the president of the Burton uh, Chamber of Commerce. Nick, Kai, good to see you. Hi, good morning, Paul. Good morning. So Nick, I mean, tell us a little bit, just to start off, how the, the role of president has, has changed in the, these times of the coronavirus situation. Yeah, yeah, there's been a lot of changes in the last uh, few weeks, for sure. Um, we're finding digital media is, is a lot more uh, prevalent now because of the, uh, you know, the, the safe distancing, etc. So, um, yeah, it, I mean, we're trying to reach out to our members and certainly our committee members to try and keep uh, a positive attitude and um, try and keep business moving where we can. Yeah, and it's about support, isn't it? That's what Chambers are about at the best of times, but also in, in challenging times, it's working with each other, looking out for each other um, where you can. It's buying from each other um, and also sharing information and, and best practice. And it's been great to see how you know, the Burton Chamber, like, like so many others, has adapted from uh, some of the physical events, which we've all uh, attended many of over, over the years. But now, you know, we're getting used to, to webinars and uh, sharing information online, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, certainly. I'm going to have to get more uh, up to speed with the, <laughs> the media connection, definitely. But no, hey, it's, um, yeah. um, it, it's something when none of us are used to, but I think we all are going to have to adapt um, if we want to be successful uh, in the coming year. Now, and, and Nick, now, I mean, you know, you, you had COVID-19, didn't you, sort of uh, a few weeks ago now, and it's great to see that you've, you've recovered. But I mean, I mean how, how, how bad was it and uh, how bad did you sort of feel when, uh, when you were struck down? Yeah, yeah. Uh, myself and my wife actually um, first went down with it in Spain. We were away for a, a, a week's holiday. And uh, at first I thought it was a bit of food poisoning on my part. Um, so I woke up in the middle of the night with um, hot sweats and, uh, and shaking and feeling cold. So I had that fever for about 24 hours, but then it was followed by a really dry cough uh, and it hampered my breathing. So every time I sort of breathed in more than 50%, I'd be coughing back out. So it was quite a worry for, for quite a long time. And, and that was at the early stages, wasn't it? When I suppose, um, yeah, you know, we, were, we were just all becoming sort of familiar with the, the symptoms and you know, there was lots of uh, questions as to how bad was it? I mean, like, how, how, how sort of worried were you? I mean, did you end up, did you have to stay in Spain for a longer period or were you able to get back? No, no, I managed to get back okay um, on the scheduled flight. Um, but when I got back, I did self-isolate. Um, I was back probably a week before we decided to close uh, the doors at Hardy Signs. Uh, yeah. But for the safety of the staff and everybody else, I, I did self-isolate then. So, yeah, yeah. I was uh, in that situation yeah. quite early. And, you know, I mean, you can see now that you, you, you're sat in the office and we were, were talking earlier that uh, one thing that you are starting to do is to have your eyes on on the future and and you know, how to get get the business sort of back up and motoring again um i mean tell us a little bit about your thinking there and, and some of the plans yeah yeah um obviously the the furlough scheme has is, is been very useful uh, well more than that's been invaluable to to ourselves and lots of businesses uh but that can't continue you know we need to be thinking ahead now we we have got customers that are waiting um, and yes, whilst uh, James um, said earlier, uh, you know, people will wait for you, but it is a bit of a gamble asking clients to wait if there are other sign companies out there that are, are up and running already. So we have that in mind as well. Um, and, and whilst you, you do expect your regular customers to be loyal, um, loyalty will only stretch so far. So I'm very keen to get uh, Hardy Signs back on the road, even if it's a, a phased, uh, approach uh, so within the next week or two uh, we're going to be up and running and 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 that feels you know really important for businesses doesn't it that that you know there's going to be a, a staggered approach to this it doesn't feel as though um sort of you know, direction from from government's going to be a little bit left you know for people to be smart we've got to obviously observe all of the social distancing um measures and and i think we're all 
really au fait with them now. But I, I, I imagine that that sort of you know safety is is paramount to you as well. Isn't it? Certainly, having had your own sort of serious bout of coronavirus. Yeah, sure. Um, I think uh, common sense has to kick in. Um, obviously, safety has to come first for for all concerned. Uh, but ultimately, we do need a way out of this. And I, and I think with the right measures in place, uh, we can operate, you know, at fifty percent and at least service some of our existing contracts that uh, yeah. are getting, you know, more urgent as the days go by. Yeah, no, I think it's an important message, isn't it? And we're, we're starting to sort of see more and more in the the news, you know, and that's sort of certainly some some restaurant chains are starting to to ramp up and construction as well and um you know i guess messaging across the across the rest of the world is is also the same and so while you know it, it's not going to be a return to normal you know the economy has to to keep moving and it's an important message to to businesses not just in burton but you know across the country i think i mean are, are there particular issues and challenges that you're hearing a lot of from from you know business leaders in and around burton yeah, yeah, I think everybody, like we do keep saying, it, is in the same boat. But I think once one or two businesses start to move, uh, that will encourage others and just give a little bit more confidence to other companies, um, you know, to, to get out there and just to start uh, the wheels turning again, even if it's in a small way. Yeah, no, no, very, very important. And I mean, any, any just to sort of wrap up, Nick, I mean, any final messages that you've got there to... To businesses who are members who are, who are watching today yeah yeah um, really my messages are quite simple you, you've got to stay positive uh, we are all in this together and it's certainly been um, times that we've never seen before um, keeping your company visible throughout all this has, has been a, a really important thing to me you know we are on social media uh, on a daily basis and, and we're trying to um, keep the spirits up amongst um, not just our staff, but also other chamber members. Um, just one thing before I go as well, uh, again, James mentioned, James mentioned earlier, the importance of paying your suppliers is, is paramount because if you, if you start slowing down with your payments, you, you, know, you can expect uh, your customers or, or, or other suppliers to do the same. And we will all grind to a halt. So if you can, please, Pay your suppliers on time, and, and hopefully that will come back to you in a, in a similar way. Yeah, it, it's massively important. It, it's interesting how there's lots of focus and um, and pressure, and rightly so, on, on government and local authorities to get the money that's been uh, promised by the chancellor, you know, into the system, and you know, be that the uh, the furlough scheme or small business grants or or the C bills that, that the banks are, are sort of paying. And, and I think that, you know, to your point, Nick, that's then got to keep on moving through, hasn't it? Go down through the, the whole supply chain, because that's how we keep, you know, the wheels of commerce turning and ensure that the businesses are able to sort of ride through this period and, and start to set themselves up and prepare for, you know, sort of um, continual trading in the second half of the year. So a uh, really yeah. good message. And, um, Great to see you as well. Nick, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Paul.